Hello, everyone. Well, that's cool. Cannot shift. <laughs> and what a great start to the video. Hello, everyone. Uh, we are testing beta 10.5 for the first time. As you can see, I don't know what happened. The GPS is on. Um, but it decided to freak out immediately. I don't know if it's because I was looking at the screen. And so that happened last time. So what we're doing, uh, I live in, again, Saluda, North Carolina. Um, and so we are going to drive into Saluda and do a small round town drive. I think the last two times have been dark, essentially. One time was rainy. So this is gonna see if GPS issues have improved at all, mapping issues. So we did had some major mapping issues, and we're gonna see if that's been improved. Previous updates um, have done very, well, shown very good improvements going around curves. Uh, 45 is the speed limit on this road, and while it says 25 here, until we get past this sign. But uh, what I've noticed is it maintains speed going around curves much more often now. I'm very happy with that. One of the up, uh, one of the uh, release notes uh, for Beta 10.5 show it does better around curvatures on the screen. And so you can see my hand. I turn on that light. Um, so right now, obviously, there's no traffic. It's uh, 6:30 at night. Um, so, but I think it's doing fine. Auto brights. Not great. <laughs> As you can see, it just turned off again for just no reason. No car in front of us. Uh, auto brights are really frustrating because they just like, they've never really worked great. Like right there. See how delayed that was to turn off? At least it doesn't like flash cars anymore. It used to flash them. Like that car right there used to turn on <laughs> as the car was passing and it would flash the person. But, um,. Yeah, so far I think this um, is very noticeable improvement around curves. Again, a slight further improvement, which is really great. I'll drive this road completely on probably Thursday morning for Thanksgiving, going over to a friend's for uh, for that, and then um, going over, or actually doing Thanksgiving late uh, with my family on Sunday, I believe. Um, yeah, this is... See, I don't know what this means. Like, well, what does it mean is unavailable? Is it just not going to turn? It's starting to slow down for our turn here. Like, see, bright sh should turn off sooner, I think. Okay. Yeah, see, it's still trying to stop here. Not quite as bad. And it definitely turned a little bit quicker than it did previously, which is uh, good. But it just it shouldn't be stopping there. There's a stop sign on the other side that it sees. And I think that confuses the car. And it, it just it's trying to stop where it shouldn't be stopping. We'll see how it does here. Yeah, it almost tried to go on the wrong side of the road right there. I don't think it ever did that the previous two times. I am going to make a playlist of this route since this is the third time I've done it now. Uh, so if you want to compare different versions, I think it's like every other version maybe uh, I get this. So it's, a, it's good to, this isn't like crazy enough to like warrant doing every single time. But um, it definitely is a cool little route, has some uh, good curve test, uh, lower speeds, and we're going to see... Uh, I think our map data is still incorrect, which of course it's never going to get corrected. See, look, it thinks we're... Yeah. The, that road does not exist. Just keep on following, it's going to miss the turn. Oh, hold on. Oh. Howard Dougie. My dog's in the back. So, again, this road does not exist. What happens is it needs to turn on this road. We'll come up to this section right here. Let's see if I can show you that this road does not exist. 
and I don't know if it'll ever get this. Like that's the thing, if it's having to rely on bad map data, right here. So this is not, this is a driveway to my right. This is not a road, uh, it's someone's house. And so the map, the map data is just wrong and I believe, I, no I haven't checked yet. I, someone's mentioned using GPS on the phone. Oh, well, that was my fault. I've been to Little Bradley Falls. I highly recommend it. It's a nice, nice place. Um, makes me wonder if I would have turned here correctly. Oh, now it thinks we're going down the wrong road again. It definitely does. It is improved in terms of not freaking out when it has the wrong GPS route. It even wanted to make a turn. Oh, there's a kid cat. Get out of the way, kitty. Uh, it, it is even improved in terms of not freaking out. It almost hit that stick on the side of the road right there. And I don't see any cars coming. Almost went off the road right there, but I don't. I think last time it failed to make that turn at all. So that seems to be a slight improvement getting onto this road. Now this road right here, it's messed up a couple times. If a car is on con oncoming, like we have a car coming from our right. And I think we're clear. That was improved for sure. Uh, it still goes a little bit close to the wall, in my opinion. But it's uh, it seemed, seemed to be improved right there. Now, uh, yeah, see our map map is wrong. Um, yeah, so that is a gravel road. That I don't know why navigation routes that way. That that's a serious issue. Regardless of what anyone says, if the car can't navigate down a proper road, road taxi is impossible. And it still tries to stop for this yellow light. <laughs> um, okay. Or oh, flashing yellow. You're just supposed to it's a caution light, just go right through it. But yeah, no, that that's um navigating down that little gravel dirt road, I'm not sure my car can even make it up that. Uh, like Cybertruck obviously no issue, but my car like I wouldn't want to drive up that It's just not the proper way to go. This is the proper way to get out of Saluda and Bad navigation is gonna be a crutch because as a human we know that's dumb don't go that way Like it doesn't make any sense uh, But at the car just it's gonna follow the nav route so like it's such an interesting issue and, and a hard, hard problem. That's why I'm, the more and more I think about it, the more and more it's like, okay, the car is gonna need artificial general intelligence uh, to do level five, for sure. That was very good, very good. Uh, very smooth. But yeah, level five will definitely need AGI because it has to be able to do anything a human can do. Uh, it, which is essentially all driving conditions. For it does, it's not geofenced to like a city where the maps are great and everything else like that. Yes. Okay. But yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to that day. I think. What the heck was that? Okay. Well, that was weird. <laughs> that was a cone. It looked like like some like little girl or something like a hood on or something, set it on the center of the cone. That was weird. I definitely swerved around it, so that's good. I, I'm, I'm very happy. It's very noticeable that um, our handles much better on curves. That is very noticeable so far. I'm very happy about that. Uh, we're going to even up it once we're past the interstate. We're going to up it to 50 and see if it can manage 50 around the curves. But it's 45. This is a this is a good speed. This is comfortable. Uh, even slows down. This could it could stay a little bit faster, 
but this is still good. I'm, I'm, it's a totally comfortable speed to be going in here. And it breaks there, don't know why. So I'm going to be very curious, this, to the left right here is our um, crazy hill test. So let's go ahead back up to 50 and see how it does around these curves real quick. So it braked a little bit right there, not sure why. Let's see if it will get up to 50, normally it would never even get up to 50 on here. Let's go around this curve right here. So this is going to be the end of this video everyone. I just wanted a short, quick drive, and so far I'm very happy. And nothing crazy, nothing won't. Now, obviously the map data messed it up. And I'm very happy with that. It stayed 50. It stayed 50 the whole way. Let's see how it does around this curve here. Okay, it's breaking a little bit. That's staying 45. If it can stay 35 around this next curve, we're off. We're doing great. Um as it turns on the blinker. So we're gonna go around this corner and then we'll end the video. I appreciate everyone watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks everyone, bye.